Imagine stepping into a reality where the impossible becomes possible just by shifting the way you think. Today, we're diving into a powerful concept that might seem a bit out there at first. Using positive delusion to turn your biggest dreams into reality. It's all about believing so fiercely in what you can't yet see that the universe has no choice but to make it happen. Let's explore how this bold way of thinking can unlock doors you didn't even know existed. Childhood imagination versus adult realism. When we were kids, our imagination was like a superpower. It let us turn our living room into a jungle, believe we could fly, or see a friend in an invisible companion. This wasn't just child's play. It was proof of our natural ability to dream big and believe in the unbelievable. Fast forward to being grown-ups, and things look a bit different, right? Society tells us to focus on what's real, what we can see, touch, and prove. This shift from imagination to hard reality can really put a damper on our ability to dream and manifest those big goals. But here's the thing. What if tapping back into that childlike imagination is the secret sauce to making our dreams come true? Think about it. As kids, we didn't limit ourselves. We believed anything was possible. And in the world of making things happen, manifesting, that belief is gold. So how does this shift from childhood freedom to adult realism affect us? Well, it can make us skeptical. We start doubting more and dreaming less. We're told to be realistic, which often means putting those wild, ambitious dreams on the back burner. But what if we flipped the script? What if reclaiming that limitless childhood imagination could actually empower us to achieve those big dreams? Here's the kicker. It absolutely can. Bringing back that childlike belief in the impossible is like reactivating a dormant muscle. It's all about letting yourself dream without boundaries again. Believing in your power to make things happen, no matter how out there they seem. This isn't about ignoring reality, but about expanding what we see as possible. By dreaming like a kid again, we're not just fantasizing. We're setting the stage for real, tangible achievements. We start to see opportunities where we once saw obstacles. And that's where the magic happens. The Unreasonable Man's Path to Progress George Bernard Shaw, a giant in the world of literature and a Nobel Prize laureate, is often celebrated for his wit, his critique of society, and his sharp insights into human nature. He was a playwright, critic, and polemicist whose works remain influential to this day. Shaw had this knack for flipping conventional wisdom on its head, challenging us to question the status quo. One of his most compelling observations goes something like this. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. This idea, coming from Shaw, isn't just a throwaway line. It's a challenge. It pushes us to reconsider what it means to be reasonable in a world that often rewards conformity. Shaw is hinting that those who truly make a mark, who push humanity forward, are the ones who refuse to just accept things as they are. Now, let's dive into how this philosophy ties into the art of manifestation. Being delusional in this context is about believing in your vision so fiercely that you're willing to be seen as unreasonable or out there. 
This perspective turns the conventional view of delusion on its head. Instead of seeing it as a disconnect from reality, it's about being so connected to a future reality that you're willing to work towards it against all odds. Historical examples abound of individuals who embraced what others might call delusions, but who we now see as visionaries. The Wright brothers, as mentioned, faced skepticism and ridicule before their invention of the airplane changed the world. Steve Jobs, with his vision for Apple, transformed how we interact with technology, insisting on a future where computers would be personal and accessible. Marie Curie, undeterred by the limitation placed on women in science, pursued her research on radioactivity and changed the course of modern medicine. These stories serve as powerful reminders of Shaw's point. Progress depends on the unreasonable, the delusional, the dreamers who dare to see the world not just as it is, but as it could be. So when we talk about manifesting our dreams, it's worth asking, are we willing to be unreasonable, to embrace our delusions, and to work towards a reality that others might not yet be able to see? It's those unreasonable beliefs and actions that have the power to usher in the new, the innovative, and the revolutionary. Manifestation beyond logic. When we dive into the art of manifestation, one thing becomes clear. Sticking strictly to what's logical can be a major roadblock. Logic has its place, sure. But when it comes to bringing our biggest dreams to life, we've got to be willing to step beyond those boundaries. The essence here is to embrace the audacity to dream big, to allow ourselves to envision possibilities that logic might dismiss as impractical. This shift is vital because true innovation and progress don't come from playing it safe. They come from daring to imagine and pursue what hasn't been done before. Neville Goddard, a profound voice in the realm of manifestation, introduced the concept of brazen impudence. It's a fancy way of saying you've got to have the nerve to demand the impossible and the audacity to believe in it fiercely, without wavering. This isn't about being reckless. It's about holding on to your vision with such conviction that the universe can't help but respond. Goddard's idea isn't just inspirational, it's a practical strategy in the process of manifestation, reminding us that sometimes the key to unlocking our desire lies in our willingness to be bold and persistent, even when it seems illogical. So how do we cultivate this mindset of positive delusion, where we align our thoughts and actions with the reality we wish to create? To adopt this mindset of what some might call positive delusion, where our thoughts and deeds are perfectly aligned with the life we aim to manifest, involves a series of intuitive yet deliberate actions. It starts with allowing ourselves to dream without limits, encouraging us to paint the picture of our ideal life, no matter how extravagant it may appear. It's about widening our perception of the achievable, anchoring our dreams not just in hope, but in the firm belief that they are attainable. Understanding that our unique vision doesn't need to make sense to anyone but ourselves is another step in this journey. It's about owning our dreams and aspirations, knowing that their validity doesn't depend on our external approval. This liberates us to chase our goals with more passion and less doubt. Living as if is a potent practice in this process. It means adopting behaviors and attitudes that resonate with the life we're working towards. It's not about neglecting our current reality, but infusing our everyday actions with intentions that mirror our goals. Whether it's writing daily to nurture a writer's life 
or exploring new places to satisfy a thirst for travel. It's about embodying the change we wish to see. Through these practices, we cultivate a space where positive delusion isn't just welcome, it's necessary. It's about believing in the beauty of our dreams and the power we have to turn them into our reality. Stepping boldly into a future where our current dreams are just the beginning. The impact of manifestation on personal growth and society. Embracing manifestation and the idea of positive delusion doesn't just tweak the dials on personal growth. It's like flipping a whole switchboard, lighting up parts of ourselves and our society we hardly knew were there. This practice challenges us to stretch our imaginations, reaching for what seems unattainable, and in the process, discovering new facets of our identity and capabilities. This exploration is transformative, altering our perception of ourselves and what we're capable of. It propels us into realms of self-awareness and self-actualization that resonate beyond the individual, touching the lives of those around us in profound ways. Now consider the broader picture. As more individuals tap into this mindset, the collective consciousness begins to shift. It's not just about personal wins anymore. It's about redefining what success looks like for a community, a society. This wave of change, sparked by individual transformations, has the potential to dismantle long-standing barriers of skepticism and limitation, paving the way for a culture that champions shared dreams and collective achievements. The impact is far-reaching. This isn't confined to small circles. It has the momentum to influence broader societal structures. Witnessing the concrete benefits of manifestation in action and inspires communities to adopt a more expansive view of what's possible, fostering an environment ripe for innovation and progress. It prompts a reevaluation of values and priorities, encouraging actions that are aligned not just with personal goals, but with the well-being and advancement of society at large. In essence, the individual journey of manifestation is a powerful conduit for widespread societal transformation. It proves that when we dare to pursue our loftiest dreams, we're not just elevating ourselves, but also contributing to a larger narrative of growth, change, and collective prosperity. Techniques for Unleashing Manifestation Embarking on the journey of manifesting one's aspirations requires a strategic blend of mental practices and a steadfast belief in the power of personal intention. This process is not merely about wishful thinking. It involves deliberate actions and a disciplined mindset. Here's an overview of the foundational steps. Initially, one must confront and manage negative emotions through mediation and affirmations. Mediation serves as a crucial tool for mental clarity, allowing individuals to silence the cacophony of daily stress and focus on their goals with renewed perspective. Concurrently, affirmations act as positive reinforcements, consistently reminding us of our capabilities and the feasibility of our ambitions. Imagination plays a pivotal role in this endeavor. In adulthood, the capacity to dream without limits often becomes obscured by practicalities and skepticism. Rekindling this imaginative prowess is essential, for it is the bedrock of innovation and creation. Engaging in activities that stimulate creativity and allow the mind to wander freely enables individuals to envision their desires more vividly and expansively. The cornerstone of successful manifestation is unwavering self-belief. This requires not only envisioning success, but also embodying it in one's daily actions and demeanor, fostering a mindset that not only anticipates achievements, 
but also operates under the conviction that these achievements are imminent. Such a belief system is transformative, propelling individuals toward their goals with determination and confidence. In essence, the path to realizing one's dreams is paved with mindfulness, imaginative exploration, and a deep-rooted sense of self-assurance. By integrating these principles, clearing mental obstacles through meditation, reinforcing positive outlooks with affirmations, expanding the boundaries of possibility through imagination, and solidifying these efforts with a robust belief in oneself, individuals equip themselves with a potent arsenal for achieving their aspirations. At the end of the day, manifesting your dreams isn't about magic. It's about the strength that lies within you. It's about recognizing that the only thing standing between you and your wildest dreams is the belief in your ability to make them happen. This journey of manifestation is deeply personal, yet universally empowering, a testament to the human spirit's resilience and its boundless capacity for growth and transformation. Remember, the path to your dreams is paved with more than just good intentions. It requires action, persistence, and an unwavering belief in yourself. It's about facing the storms with a heart full of hope and an unwavering resolve, knowing that each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory in its own right. It's about holding on to your vision, even when the world tries to blur it, and marching forward with the conviction that what you see is seeking you too. If you're looking to dive deeper into your spiritual journey and unlock more secrets of the universe, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content that can guide and inspire you on your path. Join our community of seekers and believers and let's explore the mysteries of the spiritual realm together.